Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we'll take a look at private temporary tables introduced in Oracle Database 18C. If you've come to Oracle from a different database engine, you might be confused by Oracle's idea of temporary tables. In SQL Server, developers will regularly create a temporary table to do some work and then drop the table. In Oracle, a global temporary table is a permanent metadata object that holds rows in temporary segments on a transaction-specific or session-specific basis. It's not considered normal to create and drop global temporary tables on the fly. If you need to know more about global temporary tables, there's a separate video dedicated to them. Oracle 18C introduced the concept of a private temporary table which is a memory-based table that is dropped at the end of the session or transaction depending on the setup. So this gives Oracle an option for a temporary table similar to other database engines. Private temporary tables have to be named using a specific prefix, which is defined using the private temp table prefix parameter. Here we can see the default setting of $PTT underscore. If we attempt to create a private temporary table using a table name without this prefix, we'll get an invalid table name error. Here we've created a private temporary table using the correct prefix. The default action is equivalent to specifying the onCommit drop definition clause, which means the data and the table definition will be dropped at the end of the transaction. We can still choose to drop the table explicitly if we wish. Here we've created a private temporary table and explicitly specified the onCommit drop definition clause. We can insert data into the table in the normal way and query it to see that the data is present. As soon as we commit the change, not only is the data removed, but the table itself ceases to exist. In this example, we've created the private temporary table using the onCommit preserve definition clause. This means the table definition will remain for the lifetime of the session. As before, we can insert data into the table and query it to see the data is present. We issue a commit and check the table contents again. As expected, the table and the data are still present. If we reconnect to the database to create a new session, we see the table no longer exists. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.